Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Tips with Cohen. In today's video I want to show you how to integrate a group form in Power Automate. A very frequent complaint I get from users is Cohen Power Automate can't find my group form. And sometimes these same users revert to a personal form as a workaround solution not knowing that there is a different procedure to use for group forms in Power Automate. For those of you wanting more information on group forms, please check out my previous video on how to create group forms. I will link that video in the description and at the end of this video. Before we go any further, let me just briefly describe Power Automate. So Power Automate, which was formerly known as Microsoft Flow, is an automation product. That means that you configure it to do what you want and leave it alone. It reduces human intervention. Power Automate can automate your work processes, business workflows, or even repetitive tasks on your PC. So coming back to our main topic, let me find um, a very simple flow using forms and Power Automate. I think this one should do notify the team when a new response is submitted. So let me open it. If um, this is the first time you're using Power Automate, you would be required to sign in here with your credentials. Then click on continue. So now we, that we're on this page, for the trigger, we have to pick a form. But if we um, click on the down arrow, you would only see your personal forms. And this is where people usually panic. If you want to integrate a group form, simply click on enter custom value and then fetch the form ID for the group form you want to use. So how do we get the form ID? Let's go to the forms portal where you have a list of um, all the forms you have access to. The personal forms always have you as the owner, whereas the group forms have the group name as its owner. The form I want to use today is Survey0. Okay, so I'm going to open it. It's a very simple poll asking my colleagues to select a day for a weekly meeting. You have to copy the URL of the form from your browser. So I'm selecting it and copying it. And what I do next is paste it in Word. Okay, so here I'm going to paste it. And then you have to highlight and remove everything before form ID. So I'm going up until this hashtag sign okay I'm going to delete it and the long string of characters after the equal sign okay so from this letter n right up until the end is your form ID so just copy this like that okay and paste it into the flow so let's go back to our flow page and we'll paste it wherever we see form ID. So here, okay. And also down here, don't forget to click on enter custom value. And then I'll paste the form ID once more, okay. And for the rest of the flow, let's choose um, the demo team. Um, so here it is, demo team, and uh, which channel? The Polish channel. Okay. We can end with a short, short message like um, someone answered um, your poll. Okay. And click on save. The flow is now ready to go. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is answer the survey 
So let's go back to the form, the group form. I'll click on preview. And um, which day is most suitable for me? Let's say Wednesday. And I'll submit my answer. Like that, okay? If I then um, refresh the run history for the flow, so I'm going to click here, you see that it was successfully executed. And the polls channel in our um, demo team should have a new post. So um, there you have it. Now you know how to integrate a group form in Power Automate. The example I used was pretty simple, but the procedure will be the same for any group form. Get the form ID and paste it as a custom value in your flow. If you learned something new from this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post videos on a weekly basis. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.